Oh, hey, I'm Jordan. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do barrel processing on today's episode of How We Make Rum. What's up, bud? <laughs> hey, buddy. So first thing we do, I know I need to dump a couple barrels and I know what numbers I need. So I'll go look at our chart here to see where they are. If you can see, I need 295 and 294. Lucky for me, that's the easiest ones to get out of this stack. They're on the top, on the left. So Robbie here is gonna grab this pallet jack and pull these barrels out. Nicely done. How's that, bud? Great. Once we've got the barrels pulled out, Robbie's gonna start the forklift over there and grab them off the top. All right, next up, Robbie's gonna grab one of these barrels off the racking with the forklift. All right, next up, Robbie is going to clock the barrel to make sure that when we roll it, we have bung side down over our tank. So once he rolls it, he'll take a hammer, knock that bung out, and we'll dump the barrel. Here comes the rum. So once we dump the barrel, we need to check and see the barrel proof that it comes out and then do some numbers based on weight to see what our loss was. The Devil's Cut, the Angel's Share. The Devil's Cut is saturation in the oak like a sponge. The Angel's Share is evaporation into space. And uh, we usually lose about 10% of the barrel's contents when uh, it sits for a year. This barrel sat for like a year and three months, so we'll check it out. I use this Anton Parr. Snap 41. It's super fancy, you know, pretty much as good as a hydrometer thing that gets us uh, these measurements quickly. So take a sample. Make sure it's nice and clear and then we will hit start. So we're running around 69% and we'll see what that test result is here in a second. All right, so we took a measurement of the alcohol content in this barrel uh, we put it in at 140 proof, and this one actually went down. Usually the proof goes up subtly um, when you do it. And we'll take this measurement a couple times just to make sure it's accurate. But uh, we're sitting around 140 proof, 69%, so 180, 30, 138 proof. Uh, if you want to see how we use this machine, what we think of it, we've owned it for just over a year now. It's the Anton Parr Snap 41. Uh, it's pretty handy, but I'm always scared I'm going to drop in the tank or something like that. So uh, we'll link that video in this series of how we make rum. Uh, it'll be a good review for those of you thinking about picking up this machine or uh, on the fence about it. So now we have our barrel dumped in this tank. Um, we've lifted the tank up on our forks here. And we have attached a bag to the end here that's going to catch the char when we dump the rum from the, this uh, barrel tank into our tote. And the reason we're putting it in a tote uh, is so we can, one, proof down from our barrel strength to the strength we have for our product. And two, um, this is a one-year barrel. And for our one-year product, our Queen Charles Reserve, we use a blend of three different barrels. So this is the first one going into the tote, and we'll add two more on top. So we just dumped a Queen Charlotte Reserve one-year barrel. 
Um, we do the same process <laughs> with the four year barrels and um, he was running by with some, some uh, char there. We do the same process with the four year barrels and we've got barrels in here as old as eight years now. Uh, so the idea is to go from eight all the way to 20. So keep up with us there. And uh, we're also gonna do a Queen Charlotte Reserve Navy Strength. So that's a higher proof. Uh, should have a little bit more heat on it, on the taste, but I've tasted it and honestly, it's sweet and delicious, just like the rest of the Queen Charlotte line. So keep up with us there. And um, yeah, check us out on the next episode of How We Make Rum. Cheers. First barrel of Queen Charlotte's Reserve heads to the proofing barrel.